Our next lesson in Unit 5 is Lesson 2. We're going to look at how temperatures change. Okay. So our first problem says that the temperature is negative 2 degrees and the temperature rises by 15 degrees Celsius. And therefore, what is the new temperature? So this is easy enough to put on a number line. Our number lines don't have to be perfect. They just have to work and be able to be able to track it. So we're at negative 2. That's where we start. So I know that it's going to rise. It's going to go up. So I'm very comfortable putting this negative 2 right here. And there's my 0. 5. Ten. Fifteen. Okay, I don't know that I'm going to get to fifteen, but it's rising by fifteen. So I know that I'm going to start at negative two, which is right here, and then I need to go up fifteen. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So this is the spot that I end, and that is 10, 11, 12, 13 degrees. So the answer here, the answer to this question, is 13 degrees Celsius. Next one. At midnight, the temperature is negative 6 degrees, and at midday, the temperature is 9 degrees. By how much did it rise? So this is similar but different. So here's my number line. I say I've got a negative number, and these are actual temperatures that I'm looking at. So I'm going to put my 0 in the middle. I've got negative 6. I always like to mark my 5s. This is negative 6. Okay. Oh, this is negative 5. Sorry about that. So, at midday, the temperature is 9 degrees Celsius. So, my 9, of course, is right here. So, these are my two temperatures that I'm going between. And it asks me, how much is it rising? So, I really need to count how many it takes me to get from one to the next. So, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I moved 15 places. Another way to look at this is that we could say that from negative 6 to 0 is 6 degrees, and then from 0 to 9 is 9 degrees. If I add those two together, I get 15 degrees. So by how much did it rise? it went up 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, so now we're moving on to our next problem. Complete each statement with a number that makes the statement true. Okay, so I know in this one I need to write a number that's less than 7. So if I I'm going to do all of these by using a number line. If I place my 7 here, it is positive. I don't know why that went all weird. And then that means I can have anything that's in this direction. But I can't include 7. So 7 right here is a no-no, but anything that's in this direction. So 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, etc. So any numbers. I personally would choose a negative number because then you're sure that it's smaller. Okay, next, I need something that's smaller than negative 3. So I'm going to place my negative 3. And again, I know it can't equal negative 3, but it has to be in this direction of 3. So negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10 etc. I'm simply going to choose negative 11. 
because I know that that's on my number line where it's going to keep going. Okay, the next one is a little bit different because it's a number that's in between two numbers. Now both of these are negative, so I'm going to put my zero here. It looks like I should be counting by tenths. So I'm going to make this right here negative one tenth. So my decimal is there. I know it's kind of hard to see. Negative one tenth. One, I'll put a zero in front of it. Ah, I don't want to do that. Okay, negative one tenth. Negative two tenths, negative three tenths, negative four tenths, negative five tenths. I'm going to put negative five tenths there, make it obvious. That time I put the zero in it to make it a little more obvious. Negative six tenths, negative seven tenths, negative eight tenths. So this time it cannot equal negative eight tenths, and it cannot equal negative one tenth. So it has to be anything that's in the middle of this. I'm simply going to put negative 5 tenths because I labeled it and I know it's in the middle. But anything in between those two places. My next one, this number has to be greater than negative 2. So I know greater than is always going to go to the right, so I'm going to put my negative 2 here. And then I know it can't be negative 2, and it's anything in this direction. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 etc. So if I choose a really big positive number, like positive 20, I know that I'm safe. That looks like a really funny looking 20, so let's do that. There we go. Next, draw a diagram to represent each of these situations. Then write an addition expression that represents the final temperature. Okay. So I'm going to say the temperature was 80 degrees and then fell 20 degrees. So I know it's falling, that means it's getting smaller. It's going to move to the left, so I'm going to put my 80 right here. This is the place I'm going to start. And right now we're only doing positive or adding. So recall the way that I set this up, my start, face, move, end. We're always going to be adding so I know that I'm facing to the right, always, to the right. And it says it's falling, so I'm moving in this direction. So that means it's going to be a negative number, 20. Move 20. If I go down 20, I'm going to end at, well, if I take 20 away from 80, I get 60. So the answer would be 60 positive 60, and this is my addition problem that they wanted. Next problem, the temperature was negative 13 and rose 9 degrees. That means it's going to go up. So since it's going to go up, I'm going to put my negative 13 right here. I'm going to have my start, face, move, end here. So my start, I know, is negative 13. I know my face is going to be positive because I'm writing addition problems. Start, face, move, end. I'm always facing to the right, so I'm starting here at negative 13. I'm moving to the right. It's going to rise, so it has to go in this direction because it's going up, so that means it's a positive number, 9. So it's moving up 9. So if I go up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, this is where I'm going to end. One up, 9. Now I need to count. This will be negative 12, negative 11, negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4 is my answer. And again, here's my addition equation. And the final one, the temperature was negative 5 and fell 8 degrees. So it's going to go down, so I know it's going to move to the left. I'm going to therefore put 8 degrees here. That's where I'm going to start. 
I'm facing to the right because I'm only doing positive or addition problems here. So I'm going to start and face. I already have that. I'm going to be moving. Well, it's going to fall, so it's going to be negative 8. And, whoa, be careful here. I put an 8 where it didn't belong. This should have been a negative 5. And it fell 8. So, I have not yet figured out. Is this going to let me? Oh, it does let me erase. There we go. So I can fix this. Sorry about that. It is, oh, it's still going to stay in the same place. I'm just going to make this negative 5 because that's where I'm starting. And then it's going to go down 8. So this is still my starting, and I'm still facing to the right. I apologize for confusing us. Start phase, move. It's falling, so that's a negative number. It's 8 places. So if it goes down 8, so like I said, it is going down 8. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it goes in this direction. It's going to end right here. So we just need to figure out what this number is. And down 8. So that number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I just counted the same thing again. Let's try that again. Negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, negative 11, negative 12, negative 13. So the answer where I end is at negative 13. And there is your addition problem.